Hello friends, my name is Katie from Eternal Flame and today I thought I'd share with you a quick flip through of my 6th week into the 7th week of my Hobonichi Weeks for 2022. If you're interested in hearing about how this spread worked for me and how I set up the 7th week but also how I like to tie in my weekly spreads in my Hobonichi Weeks with my Hobonichi Cousin Daily Spreads, please stick around. Thanks everyone. So today I'm going to try to do something a little different and make more of a conscious effort to share some of the tips and tricks that I've picked up along the way. In addition to that, I have some of my, uh, I guess the supplies that I use to set up these spreads and things that I like to um, use along the way. So I'm going to try to make more of a conscious effort to share that with you and link uh, some of the supplies in the description box down below. Please let me know if you enjoy this method a little bit more by giving me a thumbs up or letting me know in the comment section as well. And of course, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to uh, answer them if you include that down below. All right, so let's start off with the sixth week here. Um, as you can see, for February, I switched to this beautiful color-coded gray washi tape down below in this beautiful dusty blush color. And I felt so fortunate that I found a pen, a brush pen to actually match those tones. And it happens to be one of my new Archer and Olive Calligraph pens um, from the Jewel Selection set in Dusty Rose. So here's this pen here. Um, it comes with a broad nib and a fine nib. Um, both of them, I believe, are basically brush tips just one is a lot finer and as you can see here what i like to do is use the um, broad nib to write out um, i guess headers or like the more prominent words like love here and then i use the fine tip to kind of accent it and honestly to clean up some of those um jagged edges <laughs> oh a little out of frame there so in addition to dusty rose i also have for the next two spreads this beautiful like dusty purple color called blue bell also from archer and olive the same jewel selection here and yep just using that same method so i'm going to scooch this down so we can get them both in frame just in case you guys are curious i found that these pens they're just so beautiful they're they're neutral and they have like these gray tones to them um which really fit my aesthetic but they've also paired really well with um, my recent simply gilded washi tape hauls um as you can see here this is from simply gilded so i have lined up for the sixth week um this beautiful like floral washi tape that i use over here to kind of highlight this journaling section in this middle as well as these their signature bowl bows with this beautiful gold foiling um, down below i just love the floral designs i think for this one i think this was the stay golden kit from december of 2021 and this time around i think i actually purchased the add-on for the washi tape which is shown here i don't know if that's part of the base but i think it's definitely worth the investment because i like using the thinner washi tape to kind of separate the different sections or create headers which i do in my daily spreads so for this week, um, instead of using, for example, the, um, the sticker kit from Simply Gilded for checkboxes uh, or my um, Uni Jet Stream pen for like these checkboxes here, I actually used the fine tip of the Archer and Olive Calligraph pens and also my Hobonichi Basic Stencil here um in the check boxes to draw these in over here so i thought that was pretty nice the only comments i have um or something that i'll think about moving forward is the fact that um over time because i use this stencil so often i kind of i guess stain it with even with the uni jet stream pen so it kind of I, it probably ruined the fine tip and in, in the sense that it picked up the inks from like other pens um however if so if that's something that bothers you maybe don't don't try this method out um, but just be aware that that might happen i i did like that it was a little um it added color but it also wasn't as i guess bold as if i were to do it in black but yeah so that's what i did different here um because this week similar to the previous week i did not separate it into four distinct columns going across i only separated it into three this first column here is a little bit smaller i used it for um 
I guess marking the days of the week again <laughs> and more bold using some of my DIY planner stickers um, as well as any appointments I had and the weather so you can see here I just used some of my um, my Hobonichi stencils so I have I think four or five of them I think I have five of them I bought a set of them because I wasn't sure which one I wanted and I'm really glad I did because they all have something different to offer but I like to use any of the circles to and my Archern Olive Clear Grab Pen another one that actually can't fit in frame here but in this beautiful mustard color I actually think it's called mustard yep so I'll put this on the side here but this is the one I use for the sun once again, a beautiful, like neutral toned, not too bright pen. And you know, I didn't notice this and that now I'm like kind of nitpicking or like visually moving through my spread. It snowed a lot on Sunday and I used another one of my pens to draw the snow in. And I actually think it was this one. So this is another Calligraph pen that came in a subscription box. Um, I think this is when they were testing out some of their products. So it actually doesn't have a name on the back, but this was, um, I can't remember. I'm wondering if this was the December of 2021 um, subscription box where they gave out a few. And like I said, did not, um, and as you can see here, it didn't specify broad versus fine. And it also uh, did not name the colors, but that is what I used here. And I'm gonna bring this closer to frame and hope that it doesn't go out of focus. But what I wanted to show you is the beauty of this pen here has, um, it, it varies in color and shade. So you can see some of the snowflakes are darker um, on the bottom, which I love. I think it just really adds to the aesthetic and just so pretty. Um, but yeah, so I'm absolutely loving those pens. I think it's a great investment. I'm not in any way being endorsed by them. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just that's honest review. I like, I do struggle with the cap sometimes, but that's really, it's really my only complaint. <laughs> All right, so moving into the rest of this spread, uh, this the stickers that I used um, this week were mostly from my sticky club um i think january subscription from the cube pack i absolutely fell in love with these stickers um so i actually saved the rest of the sticker sheet here hoping to tie it into another february spread so i think going into the eighth week i will probably use some more of these stickers um just so that i can really I don't know, I guess enjoy <laughs> enjoy this designer. I really need to look at their website down here, here if you guys are interested. Um, this is the tag, I guess, at the bottom of the sticker sheet if you're interested in getting these yourself. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested in seeing that <laughs> and you're not subscribed already, if you subscribe and hit the notification bell, you should be notified when I maybe do a plan with me or flip through of the eighth week in my Hold Me Chi weeks. Something else I wanted to share with you all. So I guess, you know what? I actually don't have it lined up, um, but yeah. So <laughs> this, these header stickers here are also from that Simply Gilded subscription box. I have some here, um, but I just wanted to show you guys that like I definitely need some type of organizer for my washi tape. So if you guys have any suggestions, please feel free to uh, leave that in the comment section down below. I always learn so much from my viewers. Um, and uh, yeah, so here I, I'm actually just, this is the bag it came in from Simply Gilded. And I just wanted to show you um, that yes, I, I definitely need a better way to store my washi tape. I've been eyeing up, um, sorry, some of these, I guess like a makeup organizer system, like these acrylic drawers um, from iDesign on Amazon. So I wasn't sure if anyone had any experience with those. I've seen a lot of people have used that for like nail polish and things, um, but I've never actually seen it for washi tape. So um, I'm just actually really curious if it will fit. Um, if I do get it, I, if you guys are interested, let me know because I would be more than happy to share that with you. But I'm looking for a way to store these sets so that it's a lot easier for me to kind of just reach over on my desk while I'm planning and not having to kind of take them out of these bags because another form of storage that I have that I wanted to show you that is still kind of cute but like it's still hard to find what I'm looking for <laughs> I'm sorry if you see the reflection of the camera here um, but this was actually from the mystery grab bag from Simply Gilded and um, so I just took all the washi tape from that grab bag and put it into this bag it's very pretty it was actually really dusty when I received it so I wiped it down and I absolutely love this um, 
this bag. I love how you can kind of see through it, but you kind of can't too. So I thought you might find that interesting. Um, other than that, these headers here, um, I think I have a video on how I set this spread up where I used washi tape to kind of um, get really crisp, clean lines. I did that here as well. Just make sure that if you're using that method, I always forget, and even when I do use that method, so for example, I did that with this spread as well. You want to take washi tape that you don't like <laughs> and put it on your desk first to kind of get rid of some of the adhesive because the Tamoy River paper is very like delicate. Sorry, I apologize for that. Um, we had a truck reversing outside. Um, but basically, I forgot to kind of get some of that adhesive off. And even when I did, it ended up ripping my page, as you can see here. And that's why I have some uh, grid washi tape trying to tape the page back together. So don't make that mistake like I did. Um, yeah. And then down below, before I flip into that next week, um, I wanted to show you uh, the clouds. I think I've covered this before, but just in case I have not, I like to use my Zig Clean Color Dot Marker. I think I bought a set of 12 markers. I'm absolutely loving the colors. Some of them are a little bit more neutral and muted than the others. And some of them are also really dark. But what I find with this platinum color here is that it's a perfect like light gray color that's what i've been using for most um, of my spreads and then i started using them over here as well for clouds and tracking weather um, but yeah so i highly recommend these and i think they're totally worth it i think you can buy them as single colors instead of like a whole set um, but i'm not quite sure and then over here so for this week because in the spirit of being colorful and everything i actually um found this other color that i had like kind of hidden away in the zig clean color dot marker uh same set in hyacinth here you can see that yeah and so that's how i did uh these dots for each day in the week for my weekly habit tracker all right so that pretty much wraps up this spread if you have any questions please let me know i used this middle section here just to journal it uh sorry journal a little bit about how blessed i've been feeling and then into the seventh week over here, um, I used one of my new um, Sticky Club sticker sheets that I recently got on um, in my February 2022 subscription for the Cute Pack. If you're interested in seeing what else was included in that subscription, I will link that in the card section up above. Um, but basically, if I'm being really honest, I think this one might have been one of my least favorite sticker sheets, but I didn't want to waste it. Um, I'm really not a huge fan of character stickers. Um, I just, I don't know why, but I just haven't gotten on board. I absolutely love this little kitty cat because it reminded me of my fat loaf. I called her, I call her loaf, but her name is Sophie. Um, but she's a little chubs and I actually rescued her off the street. So I like to say, and I guess, um, attribute her heftiness to the fact that you know she had a rough beginning to her life and doesn't always know when her I guess next meal will be even though she's been with us for many years now um but yes and then my other favorite stickers would be this donut that reminded me of uh, my valentine's date with one of my friends and then also this little teddy bear so the 14th was valentine's day as you can see this week i did not shade um this days of the week on the side here which i kind of miss i think it adds a nice pop of color on this left side what I did like for this month, or sorry, for this weekly spread was that I did go back to separating my weekly spread into four separate columns where I can track the weather in its own separate column here. What I did was I used some more of my DIY washi, no, sorry, my DIY planner stickers here. I almost said DIY washi dot stickers, which is what these are here um, to mark the days I'm on site and uh, the days I have appointments and homework due which actually I have some to do today. Um, but I used some more of my DIY planner stickers here in this different, like, did I use it in the past here? Yes, I've used it here on the fifth week um, in this like kind of calligraphy type font using my Cricut uh, machine. Uh, many of you have asked for a video on how to do that. I promise I'm working on it. I have put it on, you know what? I'm actually going to put it in my planner today um, to try to get that out within the next month. <laughs> so I do apologize for the wait. It's just, I just 
want to make sure I make it as simple as possible. And if I'm being really honest, um, Cricut Design likes to kind of freeze up on me. I don't know if you've done this before with like the larger projects because there's so many different cut pieces. I think it just kind of overloads or maybe it's my computer and it's not strong enough, but I will definitely try to do that and get it out there. I think I'm going to try uh, not to fixate too much on like the nitty gritty details because I can always make improvements. Um, but I want to get that information out there just in case you guys are interested in making some stickers for yourself. But before I do, I guess I should um, throw out there that these sticker sheets, um, you know what, I, I will link that all in that video, but I get everything from Amazon on from online labels um, is the brand. All right, so getting back to this spread, other than my, um, I guess, handmade stickers here uh, for my planner, I decided to break it up into like these four different columns. Um, I think this is the first time, is it the first time this year? Maybe the second time this year. Let's see. In the beginning, I'm trying to, I'm going to set this aside because I keep knocking into it. So in the beginning, I think I wasn't my very first spread. Ah, yes. So you can see here that I thought I could put eight different um, bullets or check boxes in one of these um, in each day, which was obviously way too much. And then after that, before I got this Hobonichi uh, basic stencil, I was drawing in the little boxes, which wasn't very great. Um, but I, I wanted to show you that uh, since then, for the first time, I used one of my Zig Clean Color Dot Markers, this one here, to just draw four different, um, I guess, check boxes or bullets in each of the different days of the week. Oops, sorry. And this one is called Island Coral. Of course, I will link, um, I guess, the set, this Zig Clean Color Dot set that I've picked up in the description box down below. So they should be all in part of the set. It doesn't match perfectly, but I think it adds a lot of color. So I use that also down below to track my homework and my habit tracker on the right. So I kind of like swapped the location of all my things. I tried, to, this is me being wild and free. <laughs> it doesn't seem very wild and free. Um, also over here, I wanted to show you all that I used my, okay. I have two Caveco Sport um, fountain pens with the EF nib. That's how much I love it. Um, I actually bought one for my friend and ended up buying her um, a different one because I thought that it would fit her aesthetic more and also um, her handwriting. Um, I thought she would appreciate a less fine nib uh, because in watching other videos or reading reviews, I saw a lot of people talk about this maybe being a little scratchy. Um, I have very like tiny handwriting normally and I have to work very hard to write larger so this actually works well for me and I don't find it to be annoying um, but yeah I could see how people think would think that so I ended up buying her a different one so <laughs> this one um, has this beautiful like shimmery pink um, ink from Ferris Wheel Press that that same friend actually purchased for me I think for the holidays so that's what I have here that's what I use to mark the different appointments that I have um, this week all right and then um, so this sticker sheet I don't know if you can see I want to bring it closer to the camera because um, thus far we've been pretty good about like the focus which I'm really impressed <laughs> to be honest but I wanted to try to show you that there's this beautiful like understated shiny glittery type finish in addition to um, this beautiful uh, purple foiling that you can see so I'm not sure if you can see the glittery finish I'm just gonna kind of like move this around and like maybe show you some of the other ones too to see if it shows up at some point um, to be honest I can't really see it right now because the Sun is so strong <laughs> in the window um, but hopefully that picked it up and yeah, so I, I do I do like that. And um, I guess other than that and this journaling here, uh, I wanted to show you. So very proud, I finished my second Sticky Club uh, sticker sheet using it on this spread as well as my daily spreads and my Hobonichi Cousin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rearrange my desk because the Hobonichi Cousin is just a little bit bigger than this guy and um, come back to show you guys what it looks like when I try to tie the two together. All right, so actually before we stray too far from the topic, I forgot to mention that my other Caveco Sport 
um, fountain pen in this beautiful mink color is also paired with my Diatramentis Archive ink that I picked up off Amazon. It's my absolute favorite and really the only one that I've found to um, not only like I guess set quickly, I don't really know the proper terminology, I do apologize, I'm very new to fountain pens um, and like this whole thing. <laughs> but yeah, so I found it to not smudge as well. Um, sometimes when I have um, like lotion on my hands and things, I actually found that the Ferris will press ink while so beautiful with the glitter. I tend to smear it and I can show you that in the daily spreads here. But um, yeah, so I just didn't want to stray too far from that topic. And I just want to show you, you can see here how um, the pages of the Hobonichi Weeks are a lot more cream colored than the um, the Hobonichi Cousin, but I just want to show you how I ended up setting up the daily pages to try to tie in uh, the same sticker sheet. So I found other stickers from the sticker sheet to kind of just tie in here. It's the same color scheme. I actually used the same washi tape as well to kind of keep it consistent and um, it's kind of fun, right? So and I was really proud that of course I finished the sticker sheet, which like I said, it's the second one. Um, that I finished so here it is if you guys are interested in I guess seeing how this these spreads um, work out or hearing a talk through about these spreads um, you know just make sure you're subscribed and hit the little no notification bell and I will also I guess try to link that in the card section up above when these become available all right, everyone, thank you so much for taking the time to join me today. I always appreciate it. And if you enjoy this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up to let me know. And until next time, bye everyone.